And we're back. What is this? I'm pretty so sure Cassius is not dead. It'll take more than that to bring him down. Estelle, are you in there? Joshua? Dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup gratin. That sounds so good. I'll come down later. So why don't you two go on ahead and eat? Alright. Well, make sure you come down before the food gets cold. The wheel of for of the fortune card again. Something really is going on. You tell me, Shara, what is going on? I just can't see what it is. Hmm? Where's Estelle? She said to go ahead and eat without her. She didn't seem to have an appetite. I see. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room, seeing as how close she is with the father. I agree. So, what do you think about all this, Shara? Is it an accident or an incident? To be honest, I couldn't say either way. Your dad is a top-class bracer. When it comes to crisis management, he is the best there is. Whichever it is, if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But the fact is, an airliner along with your father has gone missing. In other words, what you're trying to say is that things shouldn't have happen happened, right? Don't lose your heart on me now. You need to be a stout wall of support and bear Estelle up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find out. Man, it sure smells good down here. I can't stand it any longer. What? Estelle, are you okay? I'm so hungry I thought I'm gonna pass out. Oh, this looks good. Bon Appetit! Aren't you two having any? This is great! The basil flavor really comes out when you roast it! You sure know how to cook, Joshua! Well, thanks. Come on, Shara! Don't you just- don't just sit there, too! Do you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from his secret stash? I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of- of stained rose that's about 20 years old in there. Did you say Stein Rose and 20 years old too? Shara, what do you think you're doing? Oh, sorry. Estelle, I'm going to have to pass this time. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. Huh? Oh, right. I was just looking for some extra underwear. I was having a bit of trouble finding one of my favorites because it was stuffed in the back of one of the drawers. Uh, yeah. Underwears? Really? Oh, and 
a set of gear for traveling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone. So I figure as long as we're prepared, we'll have nothing to worry about. Uh... So, what you're saying is... You intend to ha head to Bose to find your father? Well, duh, it's a no-brainer. And while I can't imagine anything bad happened to him despite his horrible luck, waiting around just doesn't suit me, so I'm gonna go check things out myself. Huh. <laughs> you really are something else. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't say, but... Well, you're so rude, Joshua. But you are coming along too, right? Of course. However, it looks like all the airliner flights have been cancelled until the army finishes their search. It seems like the only way to Bose is on foot. Walk to Bose, huh? I wonder how long that's gonna take. A walk to Bose, huh? For, for a bracer on foot, if they hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that's the route you're taking, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. Really? You'll come with us? But aren't you busy with a bunch of other jobs? Hey, I train under your father, right? Do you honestly think I did just sit here when something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm going to talk to Anna and have her pass my jobs at the guild to another member. Shara! We really appreciate this, Shara. You really shouldn't be thanking me. I just can't leave a job as big as this to a bunch of newbies. I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Oh well, since Shara's along for the ride now, I feel... I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming with us. <laughs> Myself as well. Anyway, let's make sure to drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll have to explain the situation to Anna. The disappearance of the Linde. So all that was just prologue. Huh. Interesting. I have to, I do have to say one thing though. I feel like uh, chapter one was uh, the prologue was pretty good. The the characters are very likable, especially Estelle. She's like. A very like full of um she, she's like a, a bundle of energy and joshua on the other hand is very calm and collected and they really suit each other so far i'm also enjoying the combat in the game there were a lot of mechanics that uh i still have to get used to but everything pans out exactly what it says and i like that in those games you know in many rpgs there there are it, it, it gets a little more complex and it's not as fun because you don't know what exactly you're doing. But in this game, you, you know exactly what you're doing. The arts does this, the, the quartz does this. <laughs> and it was a really good experience. Although we haven't done a side quest yet, so maybe... I was thinking of doing side quests in another video. Hopefully in... You get side, side quests. I don't know how long side quests are. And from what I've learned is that side quests can take anywhere from like just a few, few tasks to a very long uh, 
session. So I want to be, be prepared for that, and I also don't want to be too um, too distracted from the side quest and not concentrate on the story. I don't know. So what I'm going to do probably is probably um, have the side quest upload it on a different playlist and have this have the story on the main playlist and so if anybody wanted to watch side quest they can click on that video and not be uh, distracted by the main story anyways let's keep going I understand the situation now to be frank though the with uh, Sherazar taking off after Cla after Cassius, I'm going to be very short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Anna. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't, don't worry. If things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from the Grand Server branch. By the way, Sherazard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk with you about the job you were going to do. Sure, no problem. Estelle, Joshua, could I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Understood. Um, Shira? If we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did it out in front of the clock tower? I'd like to say hi to someone. What could this mean? I think there was a scene uh, where... Esther wants uh, has something in mind when we went to the clock tower. It might have something to do with her parents. Who knows? We'll find out. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, let's meet up in the front of the clock tower. As soon as I'm done here, I'll head over there myself. Got it. Come on, Joshua. Uh, sure. Septian calendar. Ten seventy five. Erected in partnership with the liberal Woro family, Septian Church, and the Roland City. Septian calendar, 1192, destroyed during the Hundred Years Day War, when Rolnet was bombarded by the Erebonian Imperial Army. Oh, I see. So, I, so right now, we find out that Rolnet is actually at war with another nation, or another country, right? Uh, the Erebonian. Septian Calendar 1197 Rebuilt with the cooperation of the citizen of Roland Every time I see this clock tower, I always think They sure did a superb job restoring it after the war You can sure feel the spirit of Roland's people from this Estelle? Um, Joshua, what do you think of going up to? What did you think about going up with me, waiting until Shira shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. What are you up to? Huh? Does it remind you of something? so refreshing. Hey look Joshua, we can see the house from here. You're right, I can see the roof. But 
Do you want to tell me what's going on? Since you always avoided coming up here. I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. Yeah, what, what is going on? Estelle, please tell us. I like this place, but I just can't casually come up here. Because this is the place where my mom died. What? No. No. Ten years ago, during the war, when the Imperial Army surrounded Ronant, they bombarded the, s the symbol of the city, the clock tower, and tried to get the citizens to surrender. This was the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. Oh no. The poor thing. And when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. When I came to... I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rubble. And as I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. But when they finally dug us free, no. That's so sad. After the war ended and this place has been rebuilt, I avoided coming here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place though. It's just when I come here, a part of me wants so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Estelle. But today is okay, right? Relying on her just this once. Asking her to bring dad home safely. Asking her to protect him. Of course it is. And don't worry, that's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him, so there's no doubt in my mind he's safe. And if he happens to be in a bit of a trouble, then you can come to his rescue, right? Just like your mother did for you. You can do the same for your dad. And don't forget, I'm here to help you too. Well, that's very nice of you, Joshua. Joshua! I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but... I can... I can stand... I can stay here by your side, as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you've always got mine, so... <laughs> huh? Joshua, sure, you're trying too hard. Oh, come on. Don't give us that. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Come on. You shouldn't say things like that. So lightly. What, what do you mean? <laughs> if, if I were any other girl, I would probably have misinterpreted your intention just now. You are seriously the type who's going to have problems with romantic relationships in the future. I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to be like that? When someone is so genuinely worried about you. Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it's worth looking like a complete fool. 
But you are unbelievable. It is crazy that you, you did that to me. Come on now. Don't be so mad. I'm really thankful. Believe it or not. So, how about we go down from here, huh? I'm sure Shira's waiting for us. You're probably right. Mom, I finally re realized why I wanted to be a ra bracer. It's so I can become strong and protect others just like you. So please, watch and see. I won't fail to bring Dad home safe again. I'm sure you'll do it. Oh, the two of you have such a cute scene going up, going on up there. Why, my cheeks even feel a bit hot. Just think about it. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Were you spying on us? Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when I looked up to check the time. I sure wish I had an orbital camera to get a shot of that view. Come on. What are you trying to say, Shara? That's called family bonding. Plain and simple. It's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after your third bottle of wine. <sighs> Let's not get into that. What's with the sigh? You really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah, I even asked her. Asked for her to watch over my dad. I see. Then I guess it looks like you're all set. You know, Lena's protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. I think you may be giving her a little too much credit. Now that you mention it, you met Estelle's mother before, right, Shira? Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in a trope at the time. A trope? Yeah, a troop in a, a traveling circus. Shara was a dancer. Although, it was a long time ago we first met when she came to Roulette with the circus. Twelve years ago to be exact. I was eleven and Estelle was four. And because of that chance encounter, I became a bracer. I trained under your father. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get a chance. Are you about to ready to head out for Bose? With airliner flights cancelled, we'll just have to make our way to Bose the old fashioned way by foot. First, we'll need to make our way to Verde Bridge Checkpoint, which sits on the border of the Bulge region. The Verde Bridge is located at the west end of Milch Main Road. It looks like we're all s It looks like we're all set, so let's go! Milch... Where is that? West of Milch Main Road? from a main road, huh? Oh, I see. All the way to the west. 
journey to the west we go. But before that, let's check out some sweet, sweet upgrades. Area of effect. Is it all a single target? Earthlands. Do I actually have any light element? Titanic Roar. Let's see what she has. Oh, it's still sealed. Oh, I can get two more down. How much do I need for that? Openable. Damn. Guess it'll take a while. She has the most slots right now. What is available to us, though? Unlock some orbital arts. Aqua bleed. Blue impact. Don't think I can do that yet. Petrify breath. F flare arrow. Three flare arrow. What about this page? Area. Arrow storm. I want to try Ariel. But do we have enough slots for that? Oh, so also from what I heard, apparently um, these two bars, they represent the amount of uh, element you'll need in order to uh, unlock certain uh, orbital arts. In this case, I would need, uh, I think, four. So uh, in, let's see, let's see. Let's go back to the bracer notebook. Okay, in order to unlock this uh, magic orbital arts, I ne will need four of these guys. And here it says that uh, under under there there's one elemental value. So we need four elemental values on at least uh, on either the blue bar or the brown bar and because she only has four slots and only like two open I can only do two although I think I think this counts as one yeah yeah so okay I see okay so the colorless bar actually adds 
elemental values, one elemental value to both of these bars on the right. And in order to, for me to unlock a certain uh, art, I just need elemental values of uh, a specified amount on one of these bars. And this one, the, the main slot, the first slot adds adds one elemental value to both of these, to both of the bar. So it's a, a little bit more convenient. So technically, we have five blues we can touch, and we have three blues right now. Three blues, actually, we have, we have two, and we add another one, three. I really want to unlock that. Hmm. Let's see, what are the what are the ones right there? To unlock Aerial, I need four. I need the blue or the brown bar. And at the moment, if I have if I swap attack one with another um, quartz that gives a wind elemental value, I will only have three on the blue side. And that would not be enough for the orbital arts I'm trying to unlock on her. Yep, yep, yep. So technically I need to upgrade her slot, but I don't think I don't think I have enough, yeah. Ooh, we need to we need to grind some more. Gee, I wanna let's let's see. Let's see what other um, what other magic there are to unlock. You see the Syl Sylphen Guard, right? She, it's unlocked on her because she has two wind elemental values on on the blue bar already. Siphon wing. Maybe I can unlock. I can't actually sh unlock anything else because she has her first. Her first slot is locked to wind. So technically, I can't do anything here. Yeah. Anti sep. What is anti sep? What does that mean? Chaos brand. HP two gives. HP okay, so HP one gives one elemental value. HP two gives three elemental values. HP, I mean, HP3 gives 5 element values. Oh, I see, I see. Ornament slots 1 to 6 are connected by lines which extend out from the central slot. In a cell situation, the slots 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 6 are separated into two lines. The quartz is in Sol. The elemental value of the line it is will be calculated. So like one... Okay, so these are the lines that we were talking about, so... We need elemental values on one of the lines at that specified amount under this chart in order to unlock one of the orb arts. Hmm, interesting mechanic there. Right? Hmm. I don't think we can do anything, right? Yeah, shield. 
And we can't we can't use this because this slot is basically on its own line. What about Joshua? Where is Joshua? What does Joshua have? Joshua has a lot of brown slots. Huh. And I, I think I, I, I unlocked the blue one beforehand. That was probably a, a big mistake there. I should have unlocked the brown ones. Because the blue line is separate from the brown line. And the elemental value contributed to either line does not stack up with the other line. Alright. How much do I need to unlock the lines? Unlock the slot, I mean. Joshua should be. Oh, okay. Joshua can open one. Joshua can open one. What about Estelle? Estelle can open one as well. Although I think I opened a bunch of brown ones on her, right? Yeah. Oh, all quartz, okay. She might be able to do something. She might be able to do something. Because if I, let's say if I add quartz of the same element into this slot, it will add one elemental value to this line and this line. And there will be three more brown lines. Three more brown um, elemental value slots for the brown line. And so, I mean, if, I, if I stack up a few, I might be able to do yeah, the, the, the wind orb art. Let's see. Wow, this bracer guy is actually pretty handy. Uh, what can I do? Diamond dust? I can do flare arrow. Although I kind of want her to be a tank. That is the whole point of this. But now that Sherazard is here, I can switch the row. Not a problem at all. Uh, decisions, decisions. Flare arrow. That would increase her attack by a lot more, yeah. I'm gonna try aerial. And. Aerial does AoE. But I only have evade and, and that, right? And they can't be the same ornaments or quartz. The greens are not here. You have the greens. Alright, you have the greens. I'm just gonna remove everything and see what works. She's very flexible. That is great. Okay. 
actually. I think I only have three slots up, right? And I couldn't open this slot. Oh, I still can't do it. I can't do area. What about, what about other stuff? Antisept. What is that? Mute. What does mute do? Can I attack after using or use S craft? Freeze, miss turn or after turn. Petrified. Miss turn plus if attack KO. Wow! That is strong. Miss a turn. Confuse, attack, ally. Dex plus agility down. Doing? Oh, yeah. So I want to know what mute does. Cannot use arts. Well, that's very handy. What's Joshua looking like? What are you looking at, Joshua? You have nothing. Let's go with mute. I think it's the colorless one, right? Is it the colorless one? It might not be in the try. Otherwise, uh No, it's a, it's a different element. We got Chaos Brand though. Interesting, what does that do? Confuse. What does confuse do? Attack enemy and ally alike. Ooh, confuse. I like confuse. Information. Oh, this is times two? I see. E, 5% EP, plus 5%, plus 5 dex. Able to perceive status. I think I have another ordman on her that I want to get. Max HP. She wouldn't be the tank anymore though. I think I already have that, yeah? EP cut 1. Let's try that. Now we have a light element. Wait. Do I have a slot? 
I think I need a slot. Who would like a slot, please? Yes, gimme, gimme. Now she'll be spamming arts. Ooh, I have three light. I think I have three light, yeah. That gave... Oh, wow, this one, this one. EP... EP1 actually gives a lot of elemental value. It gives a black element, dark elemental value, a light elemental value, and a colorless elemental value. Although three doesn't lead to anything, yeah. Three probably doesn't lead to anything. We shall check. Hell's Gate. I'm pretty satisfied with the Confuse, so I want to try that out. It's like you're turning your enemies into your allies. No light element. Lightning. Interesting. Chaos brand. All right, chaos brand. It is. Okay, now, what do I do with Joshua? What do I want to do with Joshua? Still one action, one on him. Airstrike. I don't know. Another slot. Because we. Right now we don't have a healer. Not anymore. And I need 50. He has ridiculously low EP. Okay, let's try some wind quartz. This one gives one elemental value, one elemental value. Are there no other... Evade one. I think there's one more here that I can get. I don't have enough. I'm a fool. I am a fool. A fool indeed. Let's go healing with her. And let's go evade. Shield. She's pretty tanky. More quartz. Defense. Now Joshua. Time quartz on action. I think I have two evades. Yep. Do a fireball. I I hope you like that gameplay, that that uh, menu management there. It was a lot of fun for me. What were you thinking, Abyss? Your precious viewers are gonna be bored to death. 
All right. Where shall we go now? Let's see. Shall go. To the Bose region. West of Roland. I don't think is this the West of Roland? Yes it is. Let us go. Yep. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I do want to test out our power now. Our true power. Now, fuck a fireboat, soul blur. Dual strike. Although oh, having taunt on Estelle now feels a little bit awkward because she's no longer tank now. Try something. Nice. So now she has a bunch of stuff. I think she was meant to be a caster to begin with, so it's I. There's something I want to check out though. I'm just gonna move and try that uh, Chaos Brand. Oh, it only costs nine now. What power? Weakling! Does no damage to me. Now be branded! Alright. Let them have at it. Uh, I'll let them have at it. About another Chaos Brand. This doesn't last that long, actually. Yeah, War already. Yes! Attack him! Nice. It works just like the way I want it. Hello there, are you headed for bows? We are! How did you know we weren't visiting again? Well, a number of people like yourselves have been passing through lately. Exponentially more than usual. Is it because the flights that have been suspended in the airspace over bows? That's exactly what's happened. You wouldn't believe how busy this place is because of it. Well, 
the Royal Army is responsible for all the restricted flights. So you're really not in a position to complain. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Oh, and another thing. Traffic through this checkpoint is also being regulated. If you want to go through here, you'll have to get a pass from the chief warrant officer next door. Okay. Uh... Hey, well, is it isn't uh, Estelle and, and Joshua too? Hello, Mr. Ashton. It's been a while since we last met. Yes, it is. So, I've heard my boy, Luke, caused you a lot of trouble, did he? I'm absolutely ashamed as a father. I'm sure it's perfectly normal for a boy at his age to be naughty like that. I mean, even I ran away outside the town when I was young. Yeah, and you're supposed to be a girl. Aha, uh -huh, you certainly have full... You certainly are full of energy as usual. And this is a uh, Sherazard, if you if I remember correctly, right? Good afternoon, sir. Would it like to cross over into the Bose region? So we were wondering about getting a pass. Uh, let me guess. This has something to do with the uh, with uh, the the Lindy, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you see, a lot of things happened, and my dad was on board of the ship. Oh my goodness, Cassius was aboard. This is major. Oh my goodness, I'll issue a a pass right away. Thank you, sir, but this is all right. But is it all right for you to issue us a passage like that? Uh, what are you talking about? I know you kids by face, and as a member of the Royal Fa Army, I should do my best to cooperate with the Blazer Guild. Oh, but one more thing. Huh? Be careful if you have any, you know, irons at the Hiken Gate north of here. You might want to hide your identities as Blazer said. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I can't say any more about the matter. But if you do intend on invest to investigate the incident, please do so with the discretion. I pray adios for Cassius' safe return. Thank you, sir. Let me in. All right, we got one. Well, that was quick. Okay then, uh, how about I open the gate door for you? Alright, this is it. Alright, you've got... You're clear to go through. Once you cross over here, you won't be able to come back unless you get a pass from the other side. Please, be aware of that before you cross. Got it! Alright. Through this door is a brand new world. We've been in Roland for like quite a while now, and I can't wait to what what the future holds. You know. Yeah. I can't wait. What happens? I I want to know what happened next. And it's been fun. I wonder what happened to my dad. Maybe we'll find out in the next part. <laughs>